Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bazorg, and in this video, I'm going to talk about defining moving heat flux by deflux subroutine in Abacus. This is the table of content of this video. First, I want to talk about introduction, then I talk about example of moving heat flux and then I talk about surface heat flux by moving laser spot. Um, you know that if you want to define a surface heat flux or body heat flux that is a function of position and time, you must use deflux subroutine in Abacus. You can define surface heat flux or body heat flux by using deflux subroutine. You know that for writing subroutines, you must use Fortran programming language and then you write the subroutine and the Abacus solver will use your subroutine for calculating some parameters. For example, if you want to define a moving heat flux, that is a function of position and time, you must use deflux subroutine. And then Abacus will use your subroutine for calculation of heat flux. Deflux can be used to define a non-uniform distributed flux as a function of position, time, temperature, element number, integration point number, and some other parameters. And uh, the deflux subroutine can be used in a heat transfer or mass diffusion analysis. Here, in this sentence, Heat transfer means heat transfer analysis or coupled thermomechanical analysis that is done by using coupled temp disp step. Heat transfer analysis is done by using heat transfer step. Both of these steps are solved by using Abacus standard solver. Deflux subroutine is one of the Abacus standard subroutines too. This subroutine will be called at each flux integration point for each element based or surface based non-uniform distributed flux definition in the analysis. Deflux ignores any amplitude references that may appear with the associated non-uniform distributed flux definitions. This sentence means that if you define an amplitude in Abacus CAE for a heat flux and you use deflux subroutine 2, Abacus solver will ignore the defined amplitude in Abacus CAE. This subroutine uses the nodes as flux integration points for first order heat transfer, first order coupled temperature displacement, first order coupled thermal, electrical, structural, and mass diffusion elements. And one of the examples of using deflux subroutine is defining a moving heat flux that is a function of time and position. This is a picture of SLS process that the laser spot moves and 
surface heat flux is applied on the base plate by using deflux subroutine you can define every arbitrary path for your moving heat flux for example you can define this path by using deflux subroutine and For this, you must define this path, the path of scanning, in the subroutine. The equation of applied heat flux by using laser spot is like this. In this equation, R is a variable and it is a function of time and position because this flux is a moving heat flux and these parameters are constant in the problem but this variable is not constant and this parameter is a function of position and time now i want to show you the simulation of sls process in abacus that deflux subroutine is used in that simulation this is the abacus model and uh, I have simulated the temperature changes in SLS process. This is the base plate, and I have defined the properties as a function of temperature because I have simulated a transient heat transfer analysis i have defined density a specific heat and conductivity for a steady state heat transfer analysis you must only define conductivity but for a transient heat transfer analysis you must define density a specific heat and conductivity I have used a heat transfer step that is transient I have defined initial temperature that is the ambient temperature and I have defined distributed heat flux by using deflux subroutine this is the mesh of the model and I want to show you the results First, I want to show you the heat flux. You can see the moving heat flux. And now I want to show you the temperature contour. This is the temperature contour. This is another simulation. In this simulation, I have used 
a smaller mesh for having more exact simulation. You can see that near the top of the base plate, I have used smaller elements and here there are bigger elements. You can see that in these simulations, a simple path is tracked by the flux subroutine. Now, I want to show you another simulation that a more sophisticated path has been tracked by the flux subroutine. For doing these projects, I mentioned that I have used deflux subroutines. These are the subroutines that I have used. This subroutine is used for tracking a simple path that is a straight. And here, I have written a subroutine for tracking a sophisticated path that I have shown it to you. Here, I have defined the path, the path of moving heat flux. And you can contact me by using my email address or my phone number by using Telegram or WhatsApp. And these are our services. And one of our important services is producing a custom video or a special video for you. For example, a special video for instructing a special technique in Abacus. That is one of your needs.
Thank you so much for your attention and concentration. Good luck.